what is up pyros so i don't know what this thing's gonna do but this is the new artwork for the 16 shot whistle king and yep how much this whole thing weighs that, that's it right there and rather than having the fuse on the outside i thought i'd do it tiny's firecracker style and you just rip this open and there's your access to the fuse and all these mortar tubes have been water glassed inside out same thing with the inserts well they haven't been inserts haven't been water glassed on the inside but just on the outside and on the tops where the hot glue is just in case so there won't be any flash leaks and I've already tested it no flash leaked out so I think I did a pretty good job there and I used the uh, the 8 ounce Kohedi tubes which are really really thick so they won't break under the pressure of the BP lift and I believe they're pretty sturdy I, I pressed about uh, uh, 3000 31, I said 3100 PSI on the inserts for the BP delay about four dashes of regular BP and then four dashes of BP mixed with titanium and then three dashes of sodium benzo whistle on top of that and then it just meets the flash and I spice up the flash with a uh, little extra KCL04 little extra uh, 5413H Super and I added some sulfur and I mixed it really 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 fucking well there's no titanium at all, in them at all whatsoever and I did a flash test and yeah it it woomphed so this should be pretty interesting um, I don't have any of the pink fuse this time it's all just uh, the Chinese visco Chinese cannon fuse the non waterproof type and um, I have reinforcement with some pretty hefty tape and also I used um, the gum tape so this thing is pretty solid like nothing's gonna move out of orbit everything's staying where it ought to be. I put about 2.5 grams of lift charge just to be on the safe side because I don't want any mishaps and um, the shots are going to be pretty uniform one after the other and uh, what else is there to say I, I use bentonite clay I'd say about that much which is nearly like a, a a half inch just about shy of a half inch probably and I have water glass soaked into it from the inside so there's no way that the bentonite plugs are gonna be broken in any way or cracked in any way they're dipped in water glass from underneath as well you can't see it take my word for it I just put this uh, gum tape on the bottom for to just to make it more solid and uniform and pretty looking as well I put paper end plugs on the tops so that when I tip it none of the BP is gonna fall out it'll retain its 2.5 grams as measured uh, not all of them are 2.5 uh, grams lift powder for the inserts. Some of them are a bit shy. Some of them are a little bit over. But roughly, give or take, it's 2.5. Before, I was doing about 3 or more. And I think that was a bit too much for what I was doing. So we'll just have to wait and see. So this fuse goes all the way down here. And then goes all the way down there. So you're going to have a lot of time before the thing goes off once it's lit plenty of time to get away from a good distance to get a great view 
of all the shots leaving the tube and reports in the air. I did a uh, insert flame test in the backyard and it was about four second duration. Once ign ignited, it went out in four seconds. Now, I think that it's probably going to go off once it leaves the tube in half that, 2.5 seconds. And I'm guessing this now, but once those tubes thump out of, or once those inserts thump out of their tubes, I think a bit of the surface gets broken up a little bit. So it kind of jumps, you know, that's why I want to make sure it's like really thick because I don't want to have accidental pass fire and then have any of them blow up in the tube because once that happens, it's a wrap, you know, fucking cake's going to start shooting shit everywhere. And uh, I didn't put a wooden board underneath because like I said, I think that's already taken care of by the thick layers of water glass that I used and the clay plugs are pretty big too so I think that's enough this thing weighs really good so I'm not worried about it tipping over so yeah so long as it's not tall and top heavy you usually don't have to worry about that kind of thing beautiful fucking artwork man I mean I spent a lot of time on it I mean, I didn't make the fireworks, you know, patterns. I, I, I just like found something off the internet and then I use my little software program. I got a couple software programs that I use just to like dim the light or brighten the light or the background. And then, you know, adding different fonts and stuff and adding the label, that's all pretty easy. Putting your own label on there, that's pretty easy. And, um, yeah, man. It's fun. It's fun making your own labels, putting them on your cakes, and if it actually fucking works. Like, one time, I'm the first time I made a 25-shot uh, Thunder King, it actually worked. I used the little M80 tubes that say warning, explosive, and those things were fucking thin, bro. Like, I, I was surprised none of them blew up in the fucking tube. I think I used more than like 2.5 grams per shot for the uh, the lift as well, but I was using the Willow charcoal for that BP, and that might have a little something to do with it. Nowadays, I'm using the Red Cedar C, or I'm using the Polonia, and that stuff is so fucking explosive that you have to water it down with dextrin and mineral oil, or it's just going to blow out, blow your mortar cakes apart their motor tubes apart and um so if you are using that kind of charcoal and you're out of the with the willow charcoal i'd say best thing to do is to uh dip your motor tubes in the water glass uh otherwise known as sodium silicate solution i got a big bottle of it from the science company i ordered and uh yeah it, it works really really well doesn't take very long for that stuff to dry um the water glassing that i did for, on the inside of the mortar tubes were watered down with like 25 percent water so just take 75 percent so you so look at 25 percent water mix it thoroughly and then apply it on the inside and i think what that does is it it makes it so that the sodium silicate will embed itself deeper into the fibers of the uh, paper tubes because I'm not using net tubes for these cakes. I'm, I'm using the uh, brown spiral uh, four inch by one inch tubes. They're not very sturdy and what amazes me um, coming back to that 25 shot Thunder King the successful one that I did way back when with the heavy titanium sponge that was used in it. Those tubes, that, mortar, mortar tubes that I used, I was using the little fucking candy cane quarter stick tubes from Power Direct. And those motherfuckers are so thin, they're like 1 16th of an inch. The inserts were like a little shy of 1 16th of an inch. You know, 
and it, it's just a miracle that it all went up and didn't blow up in the spot like the phantasm and the other whistle king most recently uploaded i wonder what this whistle king's gonna be like you guys never can tell Alrighty then see you in the next vid bumblebee tuna your balls are short